next review I'm going to do is on the four stroke engine. I've seen enough of these to last me a lifetime. I have really, honestly. I do like the engines, they've been put into everything. Um, I've already. Oh god, this box is hard to open. They've been used in everything you can imagine. Uh, lawn mowers. I've done so many lawn mowers with these engines in. Uh, Servicing, repairs, all sorts of things. God, this box is tight to get open. <laughs> I don't want you to get inside, do they? Uh. And here we have the engine. And. I'm not sure about the scale, but I believe it's about uh, half scale. No, not half, quarter scale. Quarter scale, that's that's about right, I think. Well, it doesn't actually say what scale it is. Um, this was a motorised kit. Um, right, okay, there's no decals in this. <laughs> there should have been. Unless it's on, is it a, is it a moulded one? Just have a quick scan through the bag. Nothing in the bag on it. I can see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a moulded on nameplate. So you got the moulded on nameplate on here. Not a, de not a decal. I thought it was a decal. Yeah, it's been a long time since I built one of these. All the parts can go in here. Um, if you use a little bit of Vaseline on it when gluing the parts together, it keeps them free and also lubricates them while running. Because uh, this is a motorised kit, although the motorised pieces are not in the box anymore. Uh, I remember this was only seven ninety nine, so I don't know whether to take the motor parts out to get the, you know and keep it really cheap. Uh, <coughs> One thing, yeah, fix. Have I did that? I don't remember that. Mind you, I might have, I might have rubbed that off. Yes, they've got airfix on there. Uh, on the cover, on the gearbox cover here, or the, uh, not the gearbox cover, it's the um, the gear valve um, pieces. On the cover, it's got airfix. Uh, yeah, I, would, I, was, I think I did actually take that off originally. Um, like these engines were used all over the place, generators and all sorts of things, including boats and that, and uh, bilge pumps and that sort of thing. Uh, and sometimes for small boat engines as well. They were ideal, they, they, they turned up all over the place. And uh, as you can see, this is a cutaway engine one, so you can see inside and the parts will be rotating inside it. It's done with a motor just underneath here with a rubber um, wheel on the motor that directly rubs against this flywheel that rotates the whole the whole engine. And as long as you put some Vaseline on it, it does work properly. Now they've got the switch in here, and it's they've still got springs in here as well. What are the springs for? I can't remember what the springs were for. Um, the HT lead is in here as well. That's in a separate bag. There's a couple of springs in there. I'm not sure what the springs are. Oh, hang on. Uh, the springs are actually for the valves themselves. So the valves spring up and down. They've actually got metal springs in here. Uh, I don't remember that the last one. They probably were there. I just don't remember them. Uh, so the valves work nicely. But again, a little bit of um, Vaseline just to keep them lubricated, moving two bits of plastic together. Uh, it's a nice little engine, it's, it's uh, eight bits to the build, and when you've got it together, it makes a nice little display piece. Uh, a lot of polished aluminium on this as well, and dull aluminium. Uh, there's some matte black in it, white, uh, some bit of chrome, and it makes up to a nice display engine. That's the instructions. Let's have a look at the parts. Again, this is a very old kit. This isn't this isn't a new one. Uh, 
but they were they didn't produce a lot of these so the mold should be pretty good still and what we have here we have one two three four we have four sprues here if I can get them out of the bag Here you can see the base a bit. Um, looking at it, I believe this is the back, if I remember rightly. And this is the switch holder here. And but there's not any instructions, and I don't think I've got the instructions from the original one. Yeah, it doesn't actually show you any instructions of putting the motor in here, but the motor is here. That's the gearbox. Um, so all the metal parts have been taken out of it, but uh, they'll be easily replaced. Uh, there's actually motors and gearboxes. I'll put a picture on here for you. That's what I mean. You can buy those and you can put that underneath here to get it running. All you need is the rubber uh, grommet on the end here to rub up against the flywheel to get it to run. So, put the instructions away, have a look at the parts again. Um, there's a bit of a mould line on here, but you expect that. Uh, not much. There's a little bit of flash, but not a lot at all. Especially for the age of the kit. It really is not a lot at all nothing at all actually um, minor bits tiny tiny minor bits one side of it crankcase this is molding two pieces um, all the gears look to be in good condition there's no flash on those at all so they, they should go together nicely and the cylinder as well. Some of the rods and valves have got a um, mould line on them. that has to be taken off to get it to run nicely. There's the on off switch just here on this one. Uh, nice detail. It's, it's what it is. It's a four stroke engine. It's what uh, what they were, they were very simple engines to maintain and keep running and uh, they were put into everything as I said I'll probably leave the airfix on it this time I don't remember having these airfix logos on the side of it Mind you, Tom built this originally. I was doing a lot of lawnmower repairs for a company. Uh, for a little while. And, uh, sharpening the lawnmowers and rebuilding the engines and that sort of thing. Already, already knew a lot about them before I actually went there. That's uh, partly the reason why I got the job. Uh, we should be able to do something with this. Uh, plate now I should be able to do a much better job on this uh, the coil and the points and all that I can I'll be able to give them a nice finish paint finish on them instead of an all over cover uh, color I, I can intuitively pick these all out I know what they're like in here I should be able to do that no trouble at all now the skill set wasn't as good when I first built this uh, so a lot better now, obviously. <laughs> um, I'll put that out in that way. Uh, that, in that way, like that. There we go. That's the kit. It's uh, hardly any flash on it. Though. It's still nice, crisp and clean parts on it. For its age, it really is. It really is clean for its age. Um, and it'll make up to a nice engine. I mean, you 
we've got the colour inside the engine you can do. Um, it was a typical display engine actually. Um, a lot of them actually did cut the cut an engine apart and show the works inside it like this uh, for display purposes at their uh, factory. Uh, very nice too. Anyway, that's the four-stroke engine. Hopefully, you you go out and get one of these because, like I said, seven ninety nine. You can't really go wrong with these ones. There are none of these you could go wrong with really. Uh, so that's a kit. It's on the FX website. I'm sure they've still got loads of these on there for that price. And if you purchase so much, you'll get free delivery on them anyway. I, I did. I think it's about twenty nine pound. If you pay twenty nine pound or more on order, it's free delivery. Uh, this all came to about thirty two. All these ones I bought together. So. I got free delivery, I didn't have to pay the extra for it. Right, that's it for that one. I hope to see you again soon. Keep up modelling. Bye for now.